there's bad things that are happening because not everything is bad sometimes there's light somewhere in this darkness there's light okay so we're just gonna get into motivation monday with the one on the tower so today he's in studio he's back and yeah welcome thank you so much i miss this place so much yeah man it, it was felt, very much weird doing a show it, from on the road last it week, felt but, different but it was fun well. though it was fun though because it was the first time doing it and it was fun yeah and for those that missed it i uploaded a video on youtube for that okay so yes. how was the trip to cape town yeah. it was fun. actually great it was awesome i mean cape town is a very beautiful of city course. i could go there again i'm actually thinking of retiring there <laughs> <laughs> so i could go there back again each and every day that is nice. I'm glad you had a good time, but we missed you. But welcome you back more, to Limpopo. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yes. hard. Yeah, it's, it's I feel time. like it's hard because it's cold inside. <laughs> but well, nevertheless, it's. Yeah, so let's get into it. What do you have for us on this Monday? Monday. Simple. Change your life. Change your life. So today we'll simply be talking about changing your life. That's it. And the first step, which. Uh, well, the first step which you can take in changing your, your life definitely will start by changing your mind. It all begins there. It all begins there. Yeah. Because you cannot change the outcome without changing the input. True. So we first have to change what's in your mind for your life to change. Okay. And for the fact that you tuned in into this show definitely tells me that clearly you're already on the path to change. Because mm -hmm. I mean, you can't be tuned into a motivational show and not be right. seeking something yeah. in regards to being motivated you're motivated to do something exactly. so that's why we're there All right. so I'll, I'd, 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 I'd love to start by saying change the things that you consume uh -huh. change your mind the stuff that you watch the stuff that you listen to obviously it also includes the people that you keep around you because mm. sometimes we don't just literally go into the negative stuff mm. we don't just force ourselves into listening to negative shows watching negative stuff it just happens yeah. you walk into an elevator and hear negative stuff mm -hmm. but most of the times the people that that are around us mm, yeah. so you need to do an evaluation of the people that are around you you know so that's a very one of the first things that we'll, we'll start by doing an evaluation of the people that are around you mm -hmm. and after you've changed your mind, mindset it also uh, gives you a self-esteem mm -hmm. and self-esteem is an accelerator to great performance mm -hmm. Because you cannot perform as good as you can perform with a low self-esteem. Definitely. I so, think that's where confidence comes from. Exactly. Mm. So the thing is, most of the people, we want to work hard. We want to achieve success. Therefore, we work hard, hard, hard. But we're surprised that there's no outcome or there's no change in our results. But we've been putting more hours into mm -hmm. the work. We've been uh, reducing the amount of hours that we sleep. But here's the deal. You can work more without being the right person so you need to work harder on yourself than you work on that job mm -hmm. prioritize your job it's good prioritizing your job is good but you need to prioritize yourself first mm -hmm. today i feel like the cloud is speaking to me <laughs> <laughs> so by mistake that habiba is not here i guess god put me here for a reason because i can relate to that i can relate to what you're saying right now okay and i'm glad you can relate because now there's only two reasons that we may change mm -hmm. from desperation or from inspiration okay. so you can either be desperate right now maybe you at a point in your life where you feel like giving up mm -hmm. and that's desperation mm. but what we aim to achieve from this show is from inspiration we we'll inspire you before the time of desperation yeah comes. before you hit rock bottom Thank because you. that's where people tend to commit suicide or feel like there's no getting out and things like that when you're in rock bottom you don't even have to get to that point because already you can see what ah, i didn't say but you, you dig yourself deeper and deeper as they say prevention is better than cure definitely so we want to inspire you before you desperate to make a change yeah because one way or the other you definitely i, I meet a whole lot of people that want to change mm -hmm. but sometimes it took so many years for them to realize that they need to change mm. But the, you, it's never too late to start. Okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. Let's just say you realize that you have to change, right? As you're saying that the people who took so many years, but they don't realize that they had to change. What about the person that realizes that she has to change or he has to change, but he doesn't know the steps that he needs to take in order to change? Like, he doesn't know what to do to change that, the, the, the status quo of their life. Okay. That's the steps that we're actually giving. As you said, number one is to change your mindset. So that okay. their mindset needs to be in a right space to change. Because mm 
because that's where it all begins. So the first step I would say is that change, realize that you want to change, okay. which is the first step, uh, which is the, 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 the number one step, which mm. uh, it's, okay, it's um, uh, root out, replace, and repeat. So that's just how it is. Okay, habits. Habits, yeah. Rejected. Change your daily habits on a day-to-day -day basis, mm. but you have to replace them with something. Because if, if, yeah. you, if you remove something right now, there'll mm. always be something hey. that comes back because it, it can't just be an empty space it can't so just be an we empty need to space. be very cautious of the fact that okay i'm replacing it with this good habit thank you so if you don't replace it automatically the older one grows the same yeah. thing that happens with a uh, neglected garden yeah if you remove all the weeds and everything and not replace it with the roses and mm. beautiful stuff the mm. lilies eventually those Rooted out weeds will come back. back. I mean, they didn't need a seed to grow in the first place. Exactly. So, what you need to do is for a TV show that you realize is bad for you, you can replace it with a good book. Ex at that exact time, this is what I say, guys. You two hours to watch a movie. You know what is two hours every day? <laughs> well, but you can just take something else to replace that negative vibe. Exactly. Okay. You know. Got it. Uh, yeah. The songs that that really you realize that they're depressing you you can literally replace them with what with a good audio there's so many audio tapes yeah. like i go on youtube there's so much variety of inspirational mm -hmm. content mm -hmm. you know so you can replace whatever that you realize that is holding you back mm -hmm. from the change that you want and you need to realize the kind of change that you want yeah because if you do not have an outcome in mind you literally as good as going nowhere you need a goal that's what you're saying you know there's there's a man that was asking directions and he met a little kid and then the kid said to him where are you going mm -hmm. and then he said nowhere and then he, he said if you're going nowhere the direction is anywhere yeah it could, you know, it could be anywhere it could be anywhere you know, you know left or right because you don't have a direct place that you're mm. going so for you to change you need to know this is the kind of outcome that i want to go and then we'll sit down with you or you'll get to see what do I need to do to get here? Mm. And what did I, did I do to get myself here? Because yeah. you cannot get to where you want to be doing the same things that you were doing to where you are right now. Definitely. To get to a different outcome, you need to do a different input. It's, it's that definition of insanity that is doing the same doing thing, the same thing over, expecting, expecting different results. Thank you. It just cannot happen. <laughs> yeah. If you want to stop harvesting apples, you need to start. To have it. Uh, you need to start sowing bananas, whatever that you want to have yeah. so most of us we hate the effect but we continue nurturing the cause you know you know the I law think I would say boop, 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 ah. boop. <laughs> bars, bars, bars it's that simple you know the law of cause and effect yes. right? for every cause there is an effect yeah. right Simple, the law of gravity. If I drop the shades right now, they will fall. That's just the way break. it is. Mo they might break. Most of us. And then you become surprised. Then you become surprised. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how most of us live our lives. Yes. We're so surprised. How did we get here? But, you know, Jim Brown, one of the uh, favorite speakers that I listened to, he says that one day he was in a conference, right, with a number of executive, very much prominent people, and they asked him, you know a whole lot of important people across the world and you know you're just a well-informed man please just let us know how will the 80s look like probably i guess it was maybe 79 they were jumping into the 80s yeah. and he said i know and i know the exact answer for you obviously you would give me attention if i was to tell you i know exactly how tomorrow will look like yeah. you'd give me the attention the curious too would eat me and up. then he said it would be just about it would, it's always been which is the most accurate answer that you can yeah. ever give anyone tomorrow will be as it's always been as today was unless you change so if you don't change today tomorrow is just going to give you the same results as you were getting today and you know it's it's it's, it's that simple and we tend to complicate things like impossible and whatnot you have to look at what you do in detail, no okay. That's true. In detail, you must look at the list songs you listen to, what's on your playlist, what movies do you watch, what, how do you spend your time, like between three and four. That's and true. then don't be shocked when, because you can't, I remember watching this video, uh, this guy was speaking about food. He said, yes, you might eat a hamburger today. It doesn't mean you'll be a burger tomorrow. But if you eat one burger every day, 
I guarantee you within a year you're gonna be a burger yourself. Exactly. You know, so yeah. people don't tend to see it in the exact moment because it's so it's easy to do nothing. It's easy to do nothing and it's be nothing. It's simple or you not understand it doesn't require anything. You mm. literally just do nothing. So when in a couple of years or even months when you realize that okay I don't have nothing what how exactly. how come why and do do I do this why do I deserve such things not all the way you started it boils down to your daily routine yeah. you know you need to start practicing success before you even get there you need to affirmations are very much important I did my morning affirmations today at half past three when I woke up I did my daily affirmations mm. because you speak what you want into existence yes. the power of the child mm. you know and practice success you need to go to environment that inspire you like walk into I don't know what inspires you I walk into dealerships and I'll just touch those Rolls Royces I'll just wow just, you know I'll go wow. to <laughs> I'll go to neighborhoods that just have the kind of houses that I aspire to live in and I just walk there like I'm a resident there. You know? I don't walk there like I'm there to get inspired. I walk like a resident. I own one of the houses there. Two people that I listen to personally mm -hmm. I recommend to anyone. Les Brown and Tyrese. I know he's very funny, but guys, he's very great. If you just go on YouTube and look for Tyrese, you'll see a different person than you see on, on, on movies. Because okay. I know he's always acting that stupid personality. Now, with the Robert, I mean, not Robert, my Les, Brown. Uh, Les Brown, he said that his mother was working, go, 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 didn't know the rich people, they were doing laundry, cleaning and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So he'd go there. And while he was there, there was a house whereby that man was always playing tapes and whatnot. He would just listen. Though he's there to assist his mother during uh, weekends and holidays, he'd be there looking like, yeah, this is the kind of house I want to buy my mother. And he eventually did that. And then with Tyrese as well, he said that, Go to that expensive place and buy a drink if you have to buy some. Just go there and ask for water and sit there. They're exactly. not going to chase you away. And exactly. if that's the type of thing, the type of image that you want to put in your mind, go there. Don't just dream about it. Go, literally, physically go there. Take a sit. Order that 20 rand glass of juice and just feel that environment. Be that environment. You know, tricking about Les Brown, you're really touching my heart so much because he's the first motivational speaker I've ever had in my entire life. I love him. The first him. time I was introduced to motivational speaking, yeah. as you always know my story, I always say it, my dream was to be constructed. Mm. The first time I was still not even thinking about I'll be this person, I was still uh, just being me. Mm -hmm. And then I was introduced to motivational speaking as Les Brown, but it yeah. didn't mean anything to me that time because I, I just listened to it. I'm like... Okay. What's this? Yeah, and and then saying, later, yeah. when I started in this path, when I listened to him again, I was like, oh, I once mm. had this voice. And then it came that, oh, man. Back then, when I was with KG, he played this to me. And now, now it just clicked. It. Oh, yeah. you know, that's when I realized that God just connects the dots somehow. And, you know, talking about going to places that you really stretch your mind. Mm. I mean, even restaurants, you know. Definitely. I was, I was, I was, uh, I don't remember exactly where I was, but... This lady said, uh, in, in which store I was, and this lady said, Magnum, I'd never eat this ice cream. I mean, an ice cream, just a small ice cream for veterans. You don't and, get that. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to reply, but then I remembered uh, yeah. a, a script that yeah, says that do not take head. pearls and feed them to the pigs. Yeah. Which, in other words, do not take uh, your words mm. and just say them where you know they wouldn't uh, yeah you need anything. to save those who want to be saved thank you because yeah. i realized that even though i tried to tell her in terms of uh, the power of the words and just tried to talk her out of it mm. her mind was already made up exactly. that she'll never eat a magna exactly. you know those kind of words really paralyze you for the rest of your life yeah. you need to even when you eat at restaurants you need to go not to places that you afford but to mm. places that inspire you that to be eat at places to that the person you want to be would eat at yeah. I'm not promoting that people should go into I credit and try to do this. Do it to a certain level of your mm. faith. Mm. You know, when I, I get some things, I do, I, most of the things that I do, they're not uh, what I mostly would afford. They, mm. I, I, I get things that are the person that I want to be would afford. That's the kind of attitude that I have, even when I'm looking for people to work with. Yeah. For example, if you're looking for uh, as little as an accountant, yeah. boy, go to the ones that you know you can even afford. I mean, <laughs> for the first consultations, it's free. Just go in their office and just and be just... like, look, I'd like you to get a code. How much would it cost me to arrange my books? Get yeah. a code. That code will stretch you. <laughs> yeah, so Chono no today is just dropping bars, bars, and I feel like he's speaking to me bars. personally. And uh, 
um with les brown as well he is the first motivational speaker a true motivational speaker that i heard and the first time Gimuga, i was seeing him live at galaga estate and live. Live. I saw him live, oh, wow. and then from that day I knew that you know what, whatever it is, it's possible. Like he spoke to me. Whenever he speaks, his energy and he's very true. He's very honest. That's what I loved about him, and the fact that he laughs when he's there. People like to take motivational speaking as the serious, and rigid thing. So we need to laugh, just to laugh, yeah, Nana. And the rea- you know the reality of the situation, and just laugh it off. And that's what I loved about him. So uh, we're just gonna go an ad break right now, and we're gonna come back and drop more bars with the corner. Like today, he's just speaking to me. I guess it's like He was just saying, if you're tuned in, maybe your wish that maybe he the story is for you. Today the story is for me. I'm sorry, I'm being selfish with it, but he's speaking to me today yeah let's go on an ad break it's the lunchtime movement one nation fm for look only talk radio station i don't know if you've got an 